Welcome to Finland. <laughs> this is so cringy. Welcome indeed to one of the most beautiful countries between Russia and Sweden. I'm in the northeast of Finland, where it's most wild. About 75% of the human population lives down in the south, so up here is excellent for wildlife. This is my first time here in October, and I'm here after one species in particular. So I've come here to the Finnish-Russian border. Many parts of the border are fenced, but not here, making it the perfect brown bear highway. Yep, I'm after brown bears. They look like this, a bear that's brown. As I mentioned previously, I've never visited at this time of year, but my aim is to capture unique autumnal images. I don't know what to expect, but I'm so excited. So I've just arrived and I found out that someone who's staying here has put out a trail camera about a week ago. So what I'm doing now is going to retrieve the footage to see what the camera's captured. It might give us an indication of what's moving in the area. After some smaller triggers, the first large mammal was a familiar species, a red fox. It looks a bit nervous, probably because Finland also has these, wolverines. They are a bit like badgers that we have in the UK, except bigger and fiercer. They're the largest mustelid in the world and would happily prey on foxes. And then we had some triggers that could possibly, maybe, just maybe, be a bear. Cool. This is probably bear territory then. It's now the first week in October, which means the bears are starving in the lead up to hibernation. Now, a small amount of food is left out in the form of meat to supplement the bear's diet, but they will get the majority of their food in the form of berries, which cover the woodland floor where I'm stood. They'll also eat leaves, insects, small rodents and things like that, and can take on a staggering 20,000 calories a day. That's even more than me. Anyway, bears in Finland are absolutely terrified of people due to a history of hunting. So, to give myself the best chance of getting nice photos, I'm using purpose-built hides. So, I just made it to my hide for the evening, and I'm right on the edge of the lake. Now, the autumn colours and everything are looking amazing and uh, yeah I've only got about 15 hours to go in this uh, small shed annoyingly the cloud cover meant that as the sun set the light disappeared rapidly but it didn't stop the bears putting on a good show European brown bears are widespread across Europe, with the largest population just across the border in Russia. In the blue hues of the late evening, they move astonishingly quietly, considering they weigh anywhere between one to 400 kilograms. That's even more than me. They're the gentle giants of the boreal forest. So the weather looks atrocious. But I've just had a really, really nice surprise. A large male bear came out of the forest and walked all the way around the lake towards me. Uh, I managed to get some low angle portraits of the bear with the rain falling all around it. In 
fact, the weather was looking good for the next few days, giving me the chance to watch some of the other gorgeous creatures here. Like these greater spotted woodpeckers that I spotted pecking wood greatly. I know we get them in the UK, but it's nice hearing them peck with Finnish accents. Corvids hang around the area too, like hooded crows, Eurasian jays, and these rarer Siberian jays. They feed on scraps that the bears leave behind and pick up grubs unearthed by the bears rummaging. And songbirds act as little musical pom-poms, like this great tit, these crossbills, and this iconic little chap, the crested tit. I was also reacquainted with one of our trail cam superstars from earlier, the fox. I managed to get this photo of her. I'm thrilled. This is exactly what I wanted in terms of capturing autumnal themed wildlife. Now I just need some similar luck with the bears. Bit of a last minute change of plan today. So earlier on the wind whipped up and I was meant to be in a hide out in the open on the swamp. So decided to change it up and now I'm in the forest, hoping that the bears will prefer the sheltered conditions. Fingers crossed. I couldn't have asked for a better setting. The autumn light was spectacular, pouring life into the amber tones of the boreal forest. And once again, the bears were out in all their splendor. European brown bears can live for up to 30 years. This time of year is the last chance to see them out and about, as later in October they begin entering their winter dens and won't re-emerge until the spring. They mainly rely on their excellent sense of smell for finding food, a bit like me. And as mentioned earlier, they aren't fussy. Bears much prefer finding food rather than hunting it. This lets them conserve energy, which is important as they pile on the calories to sustain them through hibernation. It really is such a privilege to watch and photograph these furry behemoths. We just got some lovely, lovely evening light. One of the larger male bears with a scar on his face. He just strolled out and he was out there for a good couple of minutes just smelling the air and looking for food. And I got some of my favourite images from the trip. And it's the last night, I know it's very cliche, but it's uh, tied it off all together really nicely. Look at this old boy. The warm orange environment and trees losing their leaves makes this image feel so autumnal. And then there's this, my favourite image from the trip. Look at how big this fella is with weight piled on to last him through hibernation and his big fat face peeping above a sea of gold. Oh man, <laughs> I'm really gonna miss this place. My time in Finland was over for now, so I had to head home. What an amazing place though, and what fantastic animals. It's wonderful how peaceful wildlife photography can be when Ed's not around. <laughs>